In the 1990s, nobody checked PSA. The average patient I operated on had a mean PSA of 10 to 12. I am operating to save your life at that value. This tumor is probably going to be in the lymph nodes. It's spread outside the prostate. You had no choice in the 90s and the early 2000s but to have surgery. You had to save your life because nobody was checking PSAs routinely. I'll guarantee you, if you have prostate cancer and your PSA is below 7, you are 95% curable with radiation. So, here's the paradigm now. We only operate on patients that have mean, mean tumors because their radiation since about 2005 or 7, the seeds have really developed and we have better external beam. So everybody says, no, no, I want it out, I want it out. That's the impulse people have when they have cancer. Get it out, get it out. But here's what happens when you just get it out. You're going to have erectile dysfunction, which means you're never going to get an erection again without penile injections or a prosthesis. Get it out, get it out. You're going to be leaking. Now, you might not be in two or three pads a day, but you're going to be, you have a couple drinks, you relax that little sphincter that you have, you're leaky. 50% of my prostates, sorry to say this, but I did 2,000 radical prostatectomies in the 90s and early 2000s. I had to, the way I practice, I don't give up on anybody. You're my patient for life. I had to all through my 2000s, I had to monitor the incontinence, the impotence with my patients, try to make them better. And so that's how I've kind of diversified, and I talk about so many different things, is because I've seen the dues people pay for that surgery that I did 2000 of. So I'm a little smarter now. And so anybody, you that's been in my practice, you know how I watch the PSA. And if it goes up a little bit, what am I saying? Got to have a biopsy. Let's go. Let's get a biopsy. The value of an early detection, and you're only going to get it with that PSA test, is I now can give you external beam radiation. We have a new program. Larry's been through it. Six, seven treatments at Hillcrest now. Or we can do seeds if we catch it even earlier. So if I catch your, your cancer with a PSA less than six or five, I can send you for these called the I-125 seeds. And the seeds keep potency and they keep continence. I don't have one incontinent patient from these I-125 seeds and you're so fortunate because not everybody has a program. I developed this program at the Cleveland Clinic in 1996 with Dr. Jay Siski. Dr. Siski is still there. He's done 4,000 seeds. You have the best guy in the world, perhaps, now, right down the street to do seeds. Dr. Blair, who some of you have sent patients to, has been doing external beam for 25 years. He's at Hillcrest. And we have, since 2005, have such, made so many good advances in radiation. And so, what I would tell you, at age 50, you get a PSA. See what your baseline is. If it looks good, it's under one, then you get it every two years, maybe every three. All you got to remember, as long as you're under one, you're great. But here are the normal ranges or ages. 50 years old, zero to two. 60 years old, zero to three. I'm going to tell you what that means. Zero to three, 60. 0 to 4, 65. 0 to 5, 70. 0 to 6, 80. So what's normal range mean? It means 95% of men have a PSA level in that range. So if you're outside of that range, you are already in the 5%.
5% is what? 1 out of 20. So, 19 other men have a normal PSA, you're the 1 out of 20 out of range. Let me go through those numbers again. 0 to 2 for a 50 year old. That means 44, 43, you should be under 2. 0 to 3 for a 60 year old. 0 to 4 for a 65. And 0 to 5 for a 7 year old. And 0 to 6 for an 8 year old. So I have a tendency when you're already 1 out of 20, you're already off the curve to say you need a biopsy. I'm aggressive. And I would encourage you not to run from the biopsy. You're already 5% when you're out of the range. Now here's the data when you're out of the range. Not everybody is positive out of the range. <coughs> the data is 35% are positive. So when you're out of the range, you're the 1 out of 20, you're still in pretty good shape. Only 1 out of 3 biopsies are positive. But guess what if you're the 1 out of 3? I can cure you lickety split. You can go home and say, honey, Dr. Zip says, no big deal. I'll be here 20 years from now.